gorgeous people it's amber welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you a very simple easy craft using toilet paper rolls i'm sure you've seen this done many times on youtube and probably on pinterest and other sites but i wanted to go ahead and share my take on this so we're going to do some wall decor today using toilet paper rolls and this is super easy anybody can do this and i just wanted to go ahead and share something that hopefully catered to more people and it wasn't super intricate or anything and, and something that everybody can do so without further ado let's get into the video okay guys materials can be found in the description box below we're going to start with these four pieces of wood i'm going to glue them together using liquid nail and a palette tool i'm going to take the palette tool and dip it in the liquid nail and then just spread it across the board now I prefer to use liquid nail for these projects because it dries faster than an E6000 or a wood glue and it is every bit as strong. So once I get it all on there, I'm going to press the boards together and then once I get them to where I like, I'm going to wipe off any excess that squeezed out at the top there with a paper towel. Should you miss any of the excess once it has dried, you can simply sand it off. I'm going to do that with all four pieces. So now I'm moving on to the next one and this is going to be the same process. I just wanted to show you that I'm using three like little wood sign things for this one and I'm just going to do the exact same process I did with the four pieces of wood. Okay, so I set those aside to dry. Now we're gonna move on to making the sunflowers. You're gonna need your toilet paper rolls, some makeup sponges, a little bowl, and some acrylic paint. So you're gonna dip your makeup sponge in the acrylic paint and you're going to paint the outside of the toilet paper roll. Now I suggest wearing gloves for this part because it is very messy. So just make sure you cover the entire outside of the toilet paper roll. Once that's dried, I'm going to take it and then I'm going to cut the toilet paper roll in half. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside of the toilet paper roll. I find it's easier to get to the entire inside if you cut it in half. So that's why I do it this way. So I'm going to do that with all of the pieces. Okay, so once they're all dried, I'm gonna take the half that I cut, I'm going to cut it in half again, and then I'm gonna cut that half in half again. So I hope that makes sense, but you're going to end up with eight pieces per toilet paper roll, and these are gonna form the petals for your sunflower. So now I'm gonna take one of the pieces, add a little dab of hot glue, and I'm just going to press them together. So I'm gonna do that with all eight pieces of the toilet paper roll. Okay, so I'm at the very end here, and then you're gonna see I have somewhat of a sunflower going on here, so there you go. Now for the center of the sunflowers, I take a bushel of one of those, uh, or not one of those, of those sunflowers you get at Walmart or Dollar Tree. I take the center out of the sunflower and I use that for the center of these ones. The reason I do that is because I feel with a piece of artwork you need something to beef it up. Now you could always use a toilet paper roll and simply paint it brown and add some texture, but I think this looks better, so this is how I do it. So now that the boards have dried completely, I'm going to take some like, I don't know, it's like a stain type wood stain that's white. So I'm gonna add the white to this one, and then I'm going to add a green of the same type of paint to the other one. Okay, so now that those are dry, I place my sunflowers where I think they look good. I'm going to add a generous dab of glue on the bottom, but not too generous, because you don't want it to seep out the sides because you'll be able to see it. Once that's done, I'm going to take some nautical rope. I'm going to glue it to the bottom of the board. Well, not the bottom, I'm gonna glue it all the way around. I'm going to frame the picture, I guess it is now, with, a, with the nautical rope. So once that's done, I'm going to make a hanging for the back of it. 
So I'm going to dab some glue on the back of there. And then I'm going to take the other side over and decide how long I want it to be, what I think looks right. I'm going to cut it in the appropriate place and simply add the other side to it. Now you'll see me dipping the ends in Mod Podge and that's just so that they don't fray. That's the reason why I do that. So once I've done this part, I am completely done with the project and I'll show you what they look like on the wall at the end. That's it. It's super easy, super simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, like, share, do all of those things to help other people find this channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out and I'll catch you next time. Bye! You know, whatever's more to your liking, but I'm just going to show you a basic, I can't talk, so we got to do it again. What's up, gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm a deer in headlights.